Over the past two decades, the history of the Resident Evil franchise has taken almost as many twists and turns in the real world as there are in the games. Numerous titles entered production, but few saw the light of day. The series also endured criticism from both concerned parents and federal courts. And, of course, fans complained about the weaker entries of the series. But like one of its undead foes, Resident Evil just won't stay down. Here are a few things that even die-hard fans might not know about Resident Evil. Sweet Home if you haven't heard of Sweet Home, that's okay. The 1989 Famicom game, based on a horror film of the same name, never made it out of Japan. But you've definitely seen some familiar pieces of it. Resident Evil started as a remake, or possibly a sequel, and many of the game's standard features made their way into its more famous younger sibling. Like Resident Evil, Sweet Home has multiple player characters. But while Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine adventure separately, Sweet Home asks players to manage the entire party at once. Both games take place in giant mansions, and Resident Evil's punishing inventory system is a copy of Sweet Home's. Even the infamous door-opening animations came from similar transitions. None of that is an accident. In 1993, Sweet Home director Tokuro Fujiwara called game designer Shinji Mikami into his office and said he wanted a horror game using the systems from Sweet Home. Mikami went to work, and while he was worried about how well a horror-themed game would sell, he shouldn't have been concerned. Capcom sold almost 3 million copies of Resident Evil, and a new hit was born. Resident of Evil Creek it's pretty safe to say that Stephen N. Limbaugh Sr., a federal judge, isn't much of a gamer, especially after he attempted to rule that video games aren't entitled to the protections of the First Amendment. The decision came during a 2002 case in which the Interactive Digital Software Association took St. Louis County to court over a local ordinance that required anyone under the age of 17 to receive parental consent before playing violent or otherwise adult video games, claiming the law violated the First Amendment. St. Louis and Limbaugh disagreed, arguing that video games have more in common with board games and sports than they do with motion pictures and aren't protected. Objection! Of course, given that Limbaugh couldn't even get the names of two of the four games right, the entire ruling is suspect. One was referred to as Mortal Kombat with a C, and while that's understandable, Resident of Evil Creek seems pretty weird. Besides, a separate case that both predated and outranked Limbaugh's decision had already classified video games as free speech, a ruling upheld by the Supreme Court in 2011. Devil May Cry while the first three Resident Evil titles were horror survival games that rewarded patience, caution, and careful inventory management, Resident Evil 4 moved the series into action territory. Leon Kennedy is faster and more coordinated than his predecessors, and can even target enemy-specific body parts. The game focuses more on combat than puzzles and comes with context-sensitive finishing moves that let Leon decimate his foes in creative, gory fashion but it was almost a whole lot weirder. When originally charged with creating the next installment, director Kamiya Hideki and writer Noboru Sugimura decided to make a slick and stylish action game with a seemingly invulnerable hero. Like previous Resident Evil games, biotechnology played a big role in the plot, but so did gothic architecture. Ultimately, series producer Mikami decided that the new direction took the game too far from Resident Evil's roots and convinced Capcom's executives to make the game its own title. Hideki transformed the hero from a sci-fi superhuman into a demon-powered warrior, christened him Dante, and Devil May Cry was born. Hacked Leaderboards Resident Evil games tend to go through lengthy, complicated development cycles with many dead ends. As a result, there are a handful of near-complete Resident Evil games out there that people never got to play. There's an ugly but surprisingly complete Game Boy Color edition of the original Resident Evil, at least three different Resident Evil 4 prototypes, and the original version of Resident Evil 2, which fans call RE 1.5, and dedicated fans want to play all of them. They let Capcom know, too. 
In RE5's competitive Mercenaries mode, a global leaderboard tracks the top scores from around the world. When players figured out how to hack the board and post the highest possible scores, they used the platform to deliver Capcom a more or less comprehensible message. Release RE1.5 – We were waiting it for years. Meat Monsters if you thought those fleshy bad guys in Resident Evil 7 looked gross on screen, just wait until you see what they looked like in real life. In order to make sure the game's army of creepy crawlies looked as realistic as possible, the developers at Capcom made models out of actual meat. That's right, that goopy monstrosity looks realistic because it's actually been built out of animal flesh. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. We shouldn't be too surprised. Capcom sold edible meat sculptures that looked like human body parts from a Resident Evil-themed pop-up shop in 2012 to benefit a real-life charity called the Limbless Association. Of course, it was a pretty good marketing stunt, too. You know, this reflects the game perfectly. This is gruesome and horrific, as is the game. Thanks for watching! Click the SVG icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!